The ocean's changing every day, and that's the beauty of it. I'm fortunate enough to pass my experiences and just knowledge of the ocean on to others. Help people see what I see out there and pass on the, the love of surfing. I've been surfing for 27 years and I'm still learning stuff every day. And it's, that's the awesome part. Coming from the East Coast, you always had to work a little harder. You had to have a little bit more of a chip on your shoulder. And it's definitely molded me to appreciate the cold and handle the cold, whereas a lot of people don't want it. I tell people, if you can learn how to surf here, you can surf anywhere. It's kind of like an addiction, because you don't get waves as much here as you do in other places, but that makes us a lot more hungry than other states, because like when it's on, it's on. Sam, he's like a legend in Lavalette. I've definitely have looked up to him because he's one of the few people to like be a pro surfer in New Jersey. There's a lot of them, but like he was definitely in the upper echelon of the surfers who made a name for themselves, coming out of like the rugged cold waters and the inability to swell. I've known James since he was a little kid. We haven't surfed together that often until this past year when he started surfing a few more different waves. So um, I can't wait to surf with him today. Sam's been surfing for a lot longer than me. And he's been, I think he's stuck with the same shaper. So he knows a lot about surfboards. And I've only dabbled in a couple. So I'd love to hear what he likes to ride and maybe try one of his boards. But I don't know, sir, but you probably surfed Outer Banks pretty good, huh? Yeah, I've gotten the Outer Banks good. But I kind of li always live by a rule, you never drive south. Except we won't go to Massachusetts unless the water goes below a certain temperature, just because there's massive gray whites. In that area? Yeah. Just... Oh, there's so many of them up there. Damn, that's gnarly. I'm ready for some pizza. I'm psyched. I know, I am too. I'm looking to kind of just pick his brain. Like, when you were 20, what were you thinking? How's it going? I'm just gonna get one plain slice. Can I get two slices and a uh, large lemonade? Are you paying all together? Yeah. I've been really lucky to see the world, and it's all because of surfing. Where were you at when you were like my age? Were you like, I'm definitely doing this surfing thing? Were you kind of skeptical? When I was competing, it wasn't really for me. Just trying to do something a little different. It's just, I was competitive at certain different things. Yeah. I cared about getting a two-page spread as opposed to winning a contest. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? What I noticed about all the surfers from around here is the ambition they have to get in the water and improve their craft. In New Jersey, we have great waves. It's just when we have really good waves, people aren't on the beach because it's after a big storm. It's cold, it's wet. When we surfed Sandy, we followed it from North Carolina and then we came all the way up to Long Island. There was one moment when we were in New York and it was one of my closest friends, this kid Mike Gleason, and, and it was him and I out there and it was like, all right, it just got real. The whole ocean just changed. Yeah, you were here during the storm, weren't you? Yes. You guys had water coming through your house? Yeah. Well, what happened is like the bay kind of just started rising with the tide yeah. and then just wouldn't stop no matter how hard you tried to plug it or do whatever. So we flooded and then we got back to the shop and it was toast. Toast, And then yeah. we were like, damn, this is going to take a while. If anything, we're getting bigger and better after it, you know? Yeah. I love the fins, the Sea Shepherd. Yeah. Have you ever ridden those? No. I oh, know, you got to give that thing a go. You have almost a month sometimes where there's no waves. You got to be in the gym. You got to be on your top game because when the waves do come around, you got to be ready. This twin fin model, it's it's going to be a little bit skatier, but it's going to be way faster than your standard thruster. Yeah. But if you get on the right line, go high with it. You know, come off the bottom, go high, get a, get get some speed going, and just lean into it, turn your body, and it's going to be magic. Let's go. Let's go. Staying on the upper half of the wave was probably a key piece of advice that I maybe wouldn't have thought of. It was cool to find out that you can surf like twin fins at a performance level. I didn't really know how, so he kind of shined some light on how you would go about surfing that board. He's going left. He's got a juicy one. Bra! I would want people to know where I came from. Like I surfed this good and I came from Lavalette, New Jersey. Because A, that's hard. 
and B, that inspires the kid who's from like Texas or anywhere where it's harder to surf and not as like abundant to like try, because if I can do it, someone else can.